In this video, we're going to look at ways of practicing foreshortening so that you can conquer it once and for all. Hi, my name is Kenzo and this is Love Life Drawing. In our first foreshortening video, we looked at how foreshortening itself isn't the problem. We draw foreshortening successfully all the time. The problem is more that there are some angles from which we're not used to seeing and observing and drawing the figure. So that means that to overcome the challenge of foreshortening, we need to get used to drawing the figure from those foreshortened angles. So the main solution is pretty simple. Purposefully seek out foreshortened poses and draw them. Sometimes people at life drawing class move around to avoid the heavily foreshortened angles because it's tricky to draw and it's even easier to find yourself avoiding those tricky angles if you're choosing photo references online to draw from. And all of that happens when you're worried about doing drawings that look good rather than drawings that help you learn. That's two very different approaches to a drawing. To transition to learning drawing, you have to swallow some pride and be ready for maybe a bit of ugliness in the drawing. So seek out the difficult angles and persevere through those challenges. You can use all those tricks from the last video. Alignments, seeing the figure as a landscape, seeing the simple geometric shapes, seeing the negative space, measuring and so on. All those techniques help you to stop thinking about the figure, which is what you have those pesky preconceptions about. But for the final 20% of the drawing, You've already got the structure in place, the four shortened lengths are all established. So at that point, you can start to look at the figure as a figure. You can start to draw those little characteristics that we look for in a human figure. So you've got all those techniques for distracting yourself away from the figure, seeing negative space, seeing geometric shapes, measurements, lots of measurements and all that kind of stuff. But as the drawing progresses and you've got all those things established, then you can start to allow yourself to see things as a, as a figure. Now, even with all those methods, you know, it's still hard. I still find it really hard, but the point isn't so much to get it right. It's more to challenge those habits in your head to straighten things out. You know, that habit to keep straightening out the figure, get more and more used to these foreshortened angles, because the more you do it, the easier it's going to get because your mind gets used to accepting what your eyes are seeing. So before we continue, I just wanted to let you guys know that we have a free guide, a little booklet called Life Drawing Success. It's all about avoiding that one mistake. It's the mistake that led to all my other mistakes with figure drawing. So I think you'll like it. Check it out at lovelifedrawing.com slash life drawing success. To make good progress, it could be useful to draw lots of poses with foreshortening in them quickly. You could line up a series of photos and draw each for two or three or four or five minutes. In a short drawing, you get the structure in place, including the foreshortened lengths. So you need to overcome the foreshortening challenge, even in a quick drawing. So that means if you do an hour of three minute foreshortened poses, your eyes are going to have to take in 20 different poses. Your arms going to have to create loads of different limbs and torsos and so on, all from these unfamiliar angles. So you can design a practice session that's going to give you a large quantity of practice in a short time with a variety of foreshortened poses. It might be a good idea to start with more extreme foreshortening because that's going to get you into the right mindset, force you out of your preconceptions, force you to see the reality. And as you get more comfortable seeing things as they really are, you can start to move on to more subtle foreshortening. We're thinking about collecting together a set of foreshortened crocky cafe poses together with the cross contour line arm exercise that we're going to talk about later in this video into an hour long foreshortening marathon for you guys to practice with. So if that's something you'd like us to do, let us know in the comments below. To help you get your eyes more used to foreshortening, we thought we'd prepare an exercise to help you get started with this practice. So instead of seeing this as an arm at foreshortened angles, which is confusing because our brains are used to something different with arms, 
Let's just try and see those lines that we've drawn on the arm. They're lines evenly spaced apart and they're gonna become closer and closer together the more foreshortened things are as the arm moves. And we can try and draw this sequence of lines. Just forget that they're based on an arm. Forget the arm altogether. Just look at this funny cluster of lines and we're gonna try and draw those first. You notice that, that last drawing, the lines are very close together. They're almost on top of each other. And when you're drawing them, you can use that first set of fairly evenly spaced lines as a kind of reference for the next set of lines. While you're drawing these lines, try to forget that they have anything to do with an arm. They're just weird lines that you're trying to draw. And you wanna get the spacing between them and their curvature about right. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be too perfect with it. Just the space between them and their curvature. You can line up each line to the other lines that you've already drawn. Now, drawing these is kind of tricky because they're just kind of a weird pattern. But the good thing is that it's, your mind doesn't have preconceptions about these lines. It's not worrying about foreshortening. It's just worrying about trying to copy down these funny lines. Next, you can draw the arms using the original photo. For this exercise, we aren't really trying to learn about arm anatomy too much. We're just getting used to seeing how much these distance change as the angle of the arm changes. We're gonna get used to drawing things closer together when they're very foreshortened. Closer than feels comfortable to us because we're constrained by these lines that we've drawn. This is an exercise designed to help you get your eye more and more used to foreshortening. It's probably not the best way to draw foreshortened figures because you normally don't have those cross contour lines there anyway, but this is a good exercise for training your eye and getting more and more used to foreshortened angles. And I'm gonna put a set of photos that you can practice with up at lovelifedrawing.com slash foreshortening. I'd be really, really interested to know how you guys find this exercise. If you enjoyed it, I found it really useful. Mako found it really useful too. And I'd love to know how you get on with it. So let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching.